Hey, I'm Chase Crawford, and you are online with the CW Source. This is Doug Benoni, and this is the CW Source. We're here with none other than Chase Crawford from Gossip Girl this morning. Chase, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, Chase, you know, you, you grew up in Texas, and then you went to, I believe, Minnesota and California, and now you're in New York. Well, we know you're filming the show in New York, but what is, what's it like being in New York, and have you learned anything from New York? Love being in New York, and I am, uh, I've learned the subways and uh, how to get a good hot dog on the corner. It's great. <laughs> It's it's really good. I mean, I, I love um, I love walking around and not being in traffic. That's great, sure. and it's um, it's a good mix of people. You know, it's a good culture, and everyone you know they sort of have their own thing going on. You sort of learn that it's you know it's infectious. You get you get the you get the focus down. So I love it. It's it's a different change of pace for me. It's true, and you never like you can see three thousand people on your way to work. <laughs> yeah. Where else can you do? That? Yeah, exactly. I've actually run into like three of my like friends from college and. Texas, other, it's the most, yeah, it's the most random thing, crazy, 10 million people, like how, right. how does that happen, so. Small town, it's a really small it, town. It's a small <laughs> island, exactly, exactly. exactly. Um, and for, <laughs> for your role of Nate, what have you done to prepare for Nate? Um, any, anybody that you've modeled Nate after? Um, you know, I, I, back in, uh, when they were casting for the pilot and all that, I mean, there was, um, you know, I, I watched, uh, I watched Jerry Maguire a bit, and I, you know, I kind of think that Nate has a bit of that to him, and he's also got the party thing going on, and we all watched Cruel Intentions a bit, and, uh, I mean, uh, Chuck's got that going on, but I mean, I, I watched some movies to check it out, you know, and then sort of get in, get in the role, but he, he's, a, he's got a lot of me in it too, as far as the emotional stuff and the family stuff going on, so it's a, it's a fun character to play. I mean, it's sure. great. It's great. So. Do you, and you had gone to a private school in Texas. Is it was the Texas private school world anything like the New York City private school world? Not quite. Yeah. No. <laughs> I can imagine a little bit. Yeah, different. yeah. I mean, you've got to be born into a certain level of affluence in the Upper East Side, and there, it's 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 just different. But I mean, you know, I, I learned something about the bubble. I, I went to a really small high school, so that the whole bubble. Um, you know the whole bubble thing going on there. Sure, the popularity, the, the popular ones. Yeah, so popular that whole situation is, is yeah, and then the gossip thing. I mean, we sure. were you know yeah, I mean when it gets the smaller it gets, the more the the, the worse it is. Sure, yeah, way, the gossip. So right, way more incestuous, right? Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, completely. And so that's how that's how it was. And and speaking about uh, incestuous, how are you guys all getting along? Uh, the guys on the set. I know we've spoken to Leighton and we've yeah. spoken to Blake, uh, but how are the guys? Have the guys found something to bond on as you guys go out and see music? Oh man, yeah. You know we have. Have actually, I mean, me and me and Ed have become like brothers. We're good friends. Me and Penn, we all have like our, you know, when we're not working, it's, you know, we have these like sort of. It cycles around when you're not working. You get to hang out one on one with people. And sure. I mean, me and Ed went and saw the Arctic Monkeys the other week. It was phenomenal. Nice. Central Park. I oh, mean, yeah. come on, great you know? show. It was right? great. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was great. And then uh, me and Penn are great friends, and everyone's great friends. It's really, it's it's kind of an odd situation that we all get along so well. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty unique. It's great. It's true. Yeah, and I said the ensemble cast. I mean, you guys are putting together. Uh, a reality that is the Upper East Side for television, but how mm -hmm. does that reality that you guys are creating for television compare to what you've seen is the real Upper East Side? You know, it's um, it's actually very similar. I mean, I haven't really, I, I've visual, you know, visualized it a bit, but I've talked to some people about it, and I mean, it's um, it, it becomes, you know, like it's it's a good mirror, a distorted image of what it actually is in, in the family. I, that's what interests interests me most is the families that sort of. Um, induce the behavior, you know, as far as being absent or being too, you know, putting too much pressure on schools and money and all that stuff and, and looking a certain way and, and, and being uh, of a certain status and having these status symbols. It's very similar, you know, I mean, these kids are going to these parties and, and they're not chaperoned and there's alcohol and all, all sorts of stuff. Is, so. it, is it, I mean, and that's the thing I think that is craziest for even New Yorkers to see is the amount of money they spend if their Prada purse gets stained, they go out and buy another $10,000 Prada purse. It's exactly. Kind of incredible. Yeah. Uh, and, and New York, it's sort of almost anathema to what New York is. New York's really known, well, it's known partially for that, but it's also known for its art, and it's known for its artists mm -hmm. and musicians. Um, you have... Or, a very talented artist. Uh, have you got Thank a chance you. to uh, well, tell, well, tell us a little bit about that? Though. Yeah, I mean, I I, I didn't do um, drama in high school or anything. I mean, I did um, I did photography and painting and drawing, and I love to draw. So I'll draw, cool. I'll draw a lot, and I uh, just give it to people, give it to my friends, and I still have some of the uh, some of the stuff hanging up in my apartment from high school, and you would know, you, I love to paint. Would you ever get one of your drawings tattooed on you? <laughs> That's a good question. I've been contemplating a tattoo, but I don't think I'd get one of my drawings on there. I mean, I designed one one time, actually. Really? Yeah, and um, but 
I, it's 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 a. Uh, I mean, I, I know Ed. I think Ed's going out to get that. <laughs> it's a step. It's a commitment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, sure, it's a big sure. commitment. It's a big commitment. I, I might, I might do it. I don't know. And, and have you, while you've been in New York, have you gotten a chance to go to any galleries or art museums or really take in any art? I know you guys have been busy. As hell. I have. I mean, being in Chelsea, there's tons of new galleries going around. So I walked around one day with the with a friend, and we uh, just popped in a couple, and it was really unique. That's I mean, I, I I love the art. So sure. I, you know, I um, bought a painting actually from a guy on the street. You know, you just see nice. some cool stuff, and I saw this really unique. Uh, Unique stuff from this guy, and I just I decided to get it. So that's great. That, yeah. that's a great New York story, right? Yeah, yeah I mean that's that's New York there for you, man. And you were saying a little bit about that you didn't take drama when you were in high school, but mm -hmm. how did you get into acting? You know, it was um, it was a weird thing. I did do a musical in high school, but that was it was a, a weird uh, process of that. <laughs> the guy approaching me and sort of you know I, I I it was a musical. I mean I had to sing, and and that wasn't too appealing. I mean I, I'm not the best singer in the world, but it was. Uh, <laughs> I like the acting side of it, and sure. I um, in college I just I was younger, you know, than everyone. I was a year younger. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Took a semester off, and just um, you know, I, I had taken this this crazy aptitude test in uh, in high school, and it was like matched me up with you know CEOs of all sorts of different professions, and I, I matched up like 95 or 6 percent with an on-stage performer, like some sort of entertaining, you know, art, cool. art artistic sort of a job, and we sort of just blew it off, like you know, I can't go to college for that, you know, I can't get that sort of a <laughs> right. Sort of a degree. I mean, that's you know, that's how it is. And so, and so I um, took a semester off, and I was in LA, and I just wanted to work and just sort of figure things out. And I just decided to try it. You know, I mean, I felt like I sort of had a, a natural ability for for behavior, whatever it is. And I, I just I just fell in love with it after taking some really good classes. Sure. And you've gotten some great opportunities, and now you're yeah. learning your skill with all these. Is it good? That you're working with people, I guess, who are more experienced than you. Do you learn from them? Oh, totally, totally. I mean, Penn's done tons of TV shows. Layton has done tons of television. Blake's been acting since she was like three, so it's like, you know, I do. It's that, that there's no experience like actually working and being on set with these people. It's just, it's just like osmosis. It just, you know, you just absorb it all. So it's, it's great. It's true. It's like any artistic pursuit. You could do it in your room, but as soon as you do it in front of people and then you do it with regularity, you find yourself getting really good. At yeah, it. you get something sort of like sucked into this vortex of just you can't like look around and st you can't just stop. You sort of just do it, do it, do it, and it just becomes you just improve. So sure. it's, it's been sure. great for me. And. Uh, and uh, okay, we're sitting behind a, a poster <laughs> of Gossip Girl, but this same poster exists in Times Square. It's probably like a thousand <laughs> feet high, and you're like 900 feet high. What, yeah. What's that like? Seeing? Have you gotten it used to that attention yet, or is it still something that just? Oh, really? It's still pretty cool. You know, I mean, yeah. I'm still like, wow, like how did this happen? You know, what I mean, yeah. especially like I never thought I'd be living in New York City for one thing, and just to be in here and and looking at you know looking at it and just be like, wow, like. Where where am I now? You know what I mean? What it's kind of crazy. What happened? All my friends just graduated college. You know, some of them moved back to Texas and they're doing their own thing. And I mean, that's sort of what I would I'd be doing. That's that's what I think about sometimes when I see that. Is is um, unfortunately I have to have a job such as this. Sure. Yeah, right. And right. and these kind of shows only come around once you know once a decade. So it's it's nice. And you're sitting there talking to them on your phone, and you look up, and a bus with you goes by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so I'm like, oh, gossip girl, there she is. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. That's, so it's nice. That's great. Well, well, listen, we, we wish you all the luck with the show, and I mean, it's great having you guys in New York, and uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to come by again and uh, and talk, but thank you. Nice. Well, thanks, bro. Thanks for having me, man. No problem. Definitely. I've been on CW Source, Chase Crawford. Thank you. Thank you.